Parashat Mishpatim, Torah tells us that that a person should stay away from, from lying. Nowhere in the Torah do we see that the Torah commands to stay away from something, to distance ourselves from something. Only we see it by lying. Lying is something that we should completely stay away from. Says that the uh, Shakranim are one of the groups of people that lose their Hedek al A person becomes a habitual liar. He goes and he lies for many things. The person uh, thinks there's no effect from what he does. He thinks it's okay. He thinks it's normal. The person has to know that this has effect his entire Hedek al Therefore, it's a very severe sin. The sages tell us that actually that's why the letters in the Gemara Shabbat tells us the letters Shin Kufresh touch the line only on a small point, meaning to say that the letters do not stand. Things gained through lying, and lying does not accomplish much, it does not last. As opposed to the letters, Alephem Taf, Taf, Emet, they stand, they touch, the letters touch the line multiple times, they say they're very grounded, and they last, and uh, they will have a lasting effect. A person who thinks that through lying he'll gain something, he lacks a Muna, and doesn't realize that he'll not gain him something, rather it will actually make him lose. So for the Torah commands us that we have to stay away very much, from lying, the person has to know that, especially in business, the Gemara Sechet Shabbat tells us they will ask us after 120, did you do business with faith, meaning honestly? Did you have to feel like you had no faith and therefore you had to lie in order to make a quick buck? Or did you have faith and realize that whatever's supposed to come to you is going to come to you? Therefore, what's the point you gain? What's the point of lying? It's going to be for you anyways, even if you say the truth. So therefore, a person has to know that uh, he should go out of his way, especially in business. A lot of times people lie about how much they bought something for, no, listen, I'm not making so much off of you, I bought this for this amount, or they go and they, they lie about where they got things from, or uh, in many, many situations where a person can, can make the other person feel like he has to buy, oh, listen, if you don't buy this, someone else is gonna buy, I already have liars, buyers uh, lined up, right? And he's being a liar himself. He's, a, he has a li- he's, a, he's, he's lying himself. So therefore, a person has to know that there's many, many situations of business where lying can come up Lying can come up, and the person has to avoid all these things because the Midrash tells us the Prophet Noah that uh, there was uh, there was everybody who wanted to go on the teva. He had to have a partner, and uh, the Midrash says that Sheker wanted to go on the boat as well, and he needed a partner. Nobody wanted to be the partner of lies, so therefore he finally found a partner who was called Pat. It was called Loss. And uh, the Pat said, "I'm only going to make it go be your partner on condition that we make a agreement that whatever you gain, I get." So therefore, Sheker and Pat made, a, made an agreement. Whatever the Sheker gain, gains, it gives it to loss. So every person gains through lying will go to loss. There was someone who told me once, he said that there's a continuation to the Midrash. He says that, the, that they had a child, Pat the Sheker, and from them came politics. Politics became their, their child. But the point is, the person has to know that they should make sure that his children don't, don't, don't learn to lie. We see a lot of Guim lie. We see politicians lie. We see a lot of people in the world lie. Uh, especially when the countries we came from, people had to lie to survive from the, you know, in the Soviet Union and to do all those things. And the person should know that we live in a place where we don't have to do those things to survive. And people are getting accustomed. The person has to know to make sure that we don't do that, that the Torah condones such behavior and it's not the appropriate thing to do, especially for the next generation, for our children, to teach them also not to lie. The person should mechanech his children to always say the truth. And this way we will go and connect to the seal of Hashem. The seal of HaKadosh Baruch Hu is emet, is truth. The person, Akadosh Baruch Hu says, the one who lies, he will not be able to stand with me in the same courtyard. I cannot go and bear his presence. Rather, he will be banished from the Shekhinah, Chas So therefore, we should go and stick to the truth and realize the truth will bring us to the Geulah, will bring us to everything we need because if it's meant for you, it's meant for you. Baruch Amen.